MP materials, ticker symbol MP. It's about up 5% this morning. And even after hour, it's still continuing to grow. There's some amazing news into it. Let's get into it. So this is from Financial Times where US targets China rare earth magnets for possible tariffs. To give you a little bit background on, on this, China is right now the majority producer of rare earth magnets. And these magnets, these are basically neodymium magnets, and they go into everything that you can understand. Your semiconductors, your mag your induction motors that go into the your fan, your AC, your EV vehicles, everything that you can see which has a motor in it, it has a magnet in it. And that magnet is coming from China. And imagine if China holds out a tariff. Earlier this year, China spoke about where they were going to reduce the amount of magnets that were going to be sent out for the US aviation industry, for the US fighter jet agency. Imagine if China controls that much. And this is not just possessing problem for the US, but for the whole world, where if China decides to control something, then the whole world will have to suffer. So immediately after that, US has been taking different types of measures in order to increase our domestic production in terms of rare earth magnets. MP Materials is the only company in the United States who has the capacity and who is currently building these rare earth material. They're not up to that level, but still the only one available right now. And of course, who would be the best person to do a build, build that in this particular scenario? It'll most likely be MP materials. Now look into the problems that they're talking about. They're talking about the demand for rare earth magnet is going to rise 270,000 tons from to 135,000 tons today by 2030. And right, that is everything coming from China. China currently produces 88%. So there's heavy dependence on China's production value. The same thing, that's something they want to bring it domestic here in the United States. We are quite dependent on the imports, particularly from China, of neodymium rare earth magnets. Section 232 is another tool we could take help reduce our dependency. Oh, this is even more interesting. They're talking about using a law in order to fund all these companies so that they can take that as an emergency and produce and give all these benefits to these domestic producers so they can flourish. Here it is. They're talking about this official said the administration would use the Defense Production Act, a 1950 Korean War era law that allows the US to compel industry to prioritize government contracts to aid national security. So they could even go to the extent of doing that in order to help the domestic production of rare earth material. And there's another good news. That's not the end of it. JP Morgan initiated coverage on material, MP materials, and they targeted it as overweight rating, announcing a price target of $1.41. That's what's moving the stock this morning. Well, just want to bring this to your notice. With that, take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.